What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and today I was gonna post a Seraph weapon and item guide, but you know what, after I was reading around last night, I decided I wanted to do another commentary because I released two commentaries last week, one talking about the new hot patch that was released, and another talking about my conversation with Randy Pitchford on him trying to get them to up the uh, spawns on Vermiverus. Because that's what everybody wants. They want to see this tower in Inferno of Awesomeness. They want to fight him. They want to see him. They want to feel they want to touch him. And if you're kind of like me and you like dinosaurs, you want to ride him as well. I want to ride Vermiverus. Although I have a clip where he boots my friend halfway across the goddamn farmhouse. <laughs> so anyway, what happened was... When they released the hot patch last week, a lot of people started talking about Vermiverus was spawning a lot. And then I started getting a feeling inside, and I was like, oh my god, did they actually take what we were trying to get to them? And did they take that into consideration and put that into the game and up the Vermiverus spawn rates? No. No, they didn't. What happened was when they released the hot patch last week, a percentage of the players also got the trigger for the gear up weekend vermivorous and north fleet drop spawns which means people all week long were spawning vermivorous down in the caustic caverns and having a great time doing it and then somebody posted a video on the borderlands 2 forums and then everybody was like oh my god this is awesome They're like oh my god i got three at once i got five at once they got vermivorous is all over the place and everybody was happy. They were experiencing parts of this game that they never got to experience before because the Vermiverous spawn rates are too damn low. <laughs> so, like I said, they were like, man, this is fucking awesome. I hope it's permanent. And then Chris F., one of the Gearbox employees, came into the thread and he was like, hmm, this seems like a bug. This is not supposed to happen, and so they went back and took a look and see what was happening, and they said one of the servers was giving out the trigger for the gear up weekend for the increased Vermiverous spawns, and that it was a bug, and that's not supposed to be happening. So they released another hot patch last night, somewhere around like 11 o'clock at night, that they released this hot patch to fix the trigger that the Vermiverous spawns are now back to normal and back to low. Which is a shame, because if you go and you look at the Borderlands 2 forums, there was a public cry of appreciation for Gearbox for upping Vermiverous' spawns and allowing people to have this part of the game actually be something that they can achieve, that they can go and strive for. Because Vermiverous still wasn't easy to spawn. You still had super badasses, ultimate badasses, badasses, Varkins. There is a lot of shit down in the Caustic Caverns willing to fuck you up and put you in to fight for your life. So it's not like you're just going in there and there's going to be three Vermiverous's. No, you still still had to work at it, you still had to achieve Vermiverous to spawn, and everybody was so happy about it, and the Gearbox came in, and they stuck the knife right in our hearts, and they are like, no, no Vermiverous for you, you're not allowed to have Vermiverous, and this is just one thing that I don't understand why they would do this, I understand that it is a bug, that it's not supposed to be happening, but if you can mess with the spawn rates, and the drop rates on the fly without actually having to patch this game? How come there isn't more gear up weekends? How come there isn't more incentive to let us play this game? There are people out there that have killed Doc Mercy over one to two thousand times and still haven't gotten their Infinity Pistol. And we love this game. We're not talking shit about this game. We love this game. We've been playing this game. I have 14 days played on this game. And it's only been out for a few months. I can see within a year that I could probably have a full month played on this game. Which is crazy because I don't usually get an insane amount of playing time on games. But for this game to hold my attention like that. To make me willing to put down any type of money that Gearbox is willing to fucking sell me. I will buy it off them as long as it's Borderlands related right now. And I'm actually even thinking about buying Aliens Colonial Marines, but I really, really, really want to know why would they do this? Everybody was having fun, spawning Vermiverous, they were getting their heads, they were getting the North Fleets they want, and then Gearbox said, nope, nope, nope. So the point of the commentary is that I want you guys, if you were spawn a Vermiverous this week, or you want to spawn Vermiverous this week, or you want a little bit of a little bit of help with the drop rates through some type of gear up weekend, get on the Twitter, get on the Facebook, get on to the Borderlands 2 forums, and make yourself heard. 
because they are saying that we are just a vocal minority and that the silent majority of the players that are enjoying this game don't really give a fuck about drop rates. They don't give a fuck about spawn of Vermivorous, but I think they really do. I think some of these people don't even know about Vermivorous. I think some of these people that are playing the game, they don't go on the forums. They don't go on the YouTube. They just play the game so they don't know exactly what they're missing. So if they don't know what they're missing, they can't be a silent majority because they just don't know they're uninformed. They're just playing the game casually and they haven't gotten to the point to where they want to learn more and dive deeper into Pandora. So like I said, please make yourself heard. Get on the Twitter, you know, hit up Gearbox, hit up Randy Pitchford, hit up the Borderlands Forums, Facebook, and you know, just be like, you know what? We want this shit. This is what we want. I'm not even just saying to up the drop rates forever, but you know what? A cool little two-day little Gearbox weekend for upping on Infinity Pistols or even on obscure bosses like Wilhelm. That would just make it a little bit more fun for everybody and to get you doing something a little bit different than your normal farming techniques. So, my name is Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it. It does give me motivation to make more videos for you guys. And if you stay tuned, I got a video later on coming up about a game that I've never posted before. So, like I said, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.